autonomy. And you already know autonomy from your passenger car. The vehicle follows the road with the help of cameras, so the car feels its way along guardrails and lane markings, but when you come to the city, for example, at an intersection, it becomes more complex. Leaper is pursuing a complete new and fundamentally different approach here. Let's have a look at the top of our wheel loader. We have mounted there three state-of-the-art lasers and they are so compact that we have marked them in red so you can't overlook them. And these lasers scan their complete surroundings in all directions 360 degrees in milliseconds and then up to a distance of 200 meters and down to the smallest detail. And what this perception of our presentation area looks like, we'll now see on our large screen here. So this is the small area here and so that you can see how far is 200 meters. We are now enlarging the display to the entire exhibition stand of Liper, which is actually more than 200 meters long. So our machine has now recognized its working area. Now we just need to communicate with it. And we do that with our autonomous job planner, AGP. And we can now see this on our LED wall too. And this software also shows all changes on the construction site. Live, for example, we can now see that Alex is appearing on our presentation site. Nice that you're here with me and I don't have to moderate everything alone here. So I just introduced our autonomous reloader to the audience, but it's not the only autonomous machine here at Bauma. Absolutely, Markus. We have indeed a second machine, even bigger than the beautiful machine behind me, also in a live operation and just a stone throw, as you say, at Libre Away. And Thanks to the uh, Leaper technology, we are in the position now to switch live to our quarry. <clears throat> to the quarry, exactly. And the only thing I can say is curtains up to our live quarry. Yeah, these are indeed live images directly from our quarry captured with a drone. There's not a driver in sight. This machine also works completely autonomously and you can also see some visitors there in the white tent. If you'd like, you can also take a look at our test site, which is only a few hundred meters away from here. So let's enjoy these really impressive images by our drone. Say, I don't know what you think, real goosebumps, because this is not just a study, this is not just a mock-up, this is a real, live, working, fully autonomous machine. Ladies and gentlemen, autonomy on your construction site is reality now. And I would say, let's switch into our construction, in our autonomous construction site better, but before we do this, Markus, you mentioned the cap. Have you ever thought why there is a cap on the autonomous machine? Yes, sometimes, of course. That's a good question, because in our concept, this is a conventional reloader, and in his second life, for these dangerous or are there some boring applications with deep so for me not, but can happen, you can switch over to autonomous. Yeah, and you told us about the autonomous job planner and let's just switch to our quarry and there we can see how our autonomous wheel loader has to work. Absolutely. 
on this autonomous truck banner, you can see exactly what your machine is doing. The machine is broadcasting every little detail, how, for example, the material is changing, how the funnels are filling, how your trucks and lorries are filled, everything under control with our AJP. Okay, but before a uh, wheel loader autonomously can work, he has to get a job order. How can we receive that? Super easy. Because this is technology for everybody. Imagine a, a toy robot. You can program this machine with logic modules. You put the module here, tell the machine there's the material, here is the lorry, start working. It's even more easy. We can now change to our top side here. And then I can show you, Marcus, a live programming of this machine behind me. Is this something? Yeah, of course. I will show you now, and the only thing you have to do is, like with a human operator, just tell the machine, over there is our gravel, here is our target, our funnel, please start working. Yes, and our autonomous reloader seems to be a little rock star, seeing so <laughs> many cell phones capturing when he when it's working. So it's really fascinating, but there might be some advantages in the production. Challenges, absolutely. First of all, uh, 10 years of development, 10 years of hard work are in this machine. There is, first of all, the safety, of course. You have seen us as a monolithic image on our chat planner. First of all, safety for us, but also safety for the machine. And second, when you watch how the machine takes into the material, each individual bucket fill is um, autonomously controlled. And if you watch our autonomous chat planner, you can see what the machine has planned on this guideline. So if you watch closely for the whole Bauma, at the end of the Bauma, I guarantee you are an expert reloader operator. And I guarantee you that it will stay the better reloader than me. So, Alex, it's really fascinating to see this and uh, you always have everything on the construction side in view with our autonomous job planner and the machine autonomously takes care of the rest. So let's enjoy how our autonomous, autonomous reloader works. Reloader is now completing this job and is receiving a new and special assignment immediately now, Alex. Absolutely. If you would watch our video wall, exactly at the moment the last bucket is ending now. Ah, so it's the same. Switch and immediately the machine has changed uh, the job site and is now distributing gifts. Yeah, that seems to be unusual for a construction site, but perhaps um, when there is somebody 
having birthday, you have to throw a party and uh, yes, you have to have an autonomous <laughs> job, uh, job plan. Uh, we <laughs> <loaded. also>. <laughs> for, for <laughs> the gifts and we now presenting and distributing some gifts to you. There are two points where we will do that. They're already fixed, but how the machine gets there, it does it by himself, by itself. <laughs> Okay, that seems to be the correct point to stand for our gifts. So let's have a look what's inside here. This seems to be a spirit level.